Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Alright guys, so Creative Fabrica Spark has just added new functionality and I think it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you how to use it. So here I am inside Creative Fabrica, and they have this Get CF Spark extension. Um, I already have it, but I'm going to click on it anyway. Basically, what this is is, no matter where you are on the World Wide Web, if there is an image, all you have to do is just roll your cursor over it and tap Generate, and it's going to recreate an image similar to that one in Creative Fabrica for you. You don't have to worry about trying to remember what the font is or not the font, but the prompt, the prompt is or anything. As long as you get that generate across that image, it's going to give you um, a similar image. Now, it's not going to recreate the same image, but it's going to give you something similar. So let's test it out. So I'm going to click on Get CF Spark in extension. And this is no additional cost, guys, from what I can see. Um, this already comes with your CF Spark. You just have to add the extension in Google Chrome, okay? So it tells me that I already have it um, because otherwise it would tell me to click here to add it. So I've already added mine. So it's just that simple. It's just one click and you're going to have that um, extension that you'll need, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google. <coughs> And I'm going to show you a couple of interesting ways that you can use this. All right, so here we are in Google. And I'm going to say, beautiful African art of a praying woman. All right, so I'm going to click on the tab for images. And... Let's say, I'm going to click on this one. All righty. And you see how I just lay my cursor over that image and I get the CF Spark logo with the word generate. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to open up CF Spark for me. There's the image, and again, it's not going to recreate this image. It's going to give me something similar, so I don't have to worry about enter entering in a prompt or anything. All I have to do, do is just click on Generate. And for one credit, it's going to give you 12 images. Now, the good thing about this is you can even use this to upload an image. You don't have to go and find an image on the World Wide Web. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use one of my photos to recreate images as well. So this is a very exciting for CF Spark. I think you guys will really like this. So if you're not using CF Spark, then I would highly recommend if you have Creative Fabrica that you go ahead and pay the extra $9 per month for the CF Spark because this is a game changer. I'm going to show you two ways that is a game that is a game changer. All right, I'm going to pause this until they come up. Give me one moment. All right, guys, it has completed. Look at these images that it recreated. Not bad, not bad at all. So I really like this one. So you click the little pencil. It's going to blow the image up so you can kind of see it better. And then you just click download. Same thing here. I like that one. Oh, this is going to be awesome, guys. 
Now, some of them aren't the best, but not to have to worry about a prompt or anything like that. This is pretty cool. Now, you can also um, remix. So you can mix it again, you know, based off of one of these images. So um, here's one where I use that image from Google. And this is what it gave me. So all you have to do is click on download. Not bad at all. Okay. And then these will become a part of your private download. So when I click on my private download, <clears throat> you're going to see there's those images that I just downloaded. Okay. All right, um, you can also, for your private um, downloads, guys, you can look at all, you can look at the art that you've created, any patterns, any crystalline, any image remixes, and any sketches that you perform. So now you can locate your private downloads by these categories here, which I think is really awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to, um, I'm going to go back here to Google. And this time I am going to, let's just take one more image and see how it does. So you're not stealing anyone's artwork, guys. You're just creating your own off of the likeness of that image, okay? All right, let's see. All right, here's one. We're going to click Generate. Now, the only thing, once you get here, you're going to have to click on Generate. Um, the only thing that I see right now is it does take a minute for it to generate, but do keep in mind that it's generating 12 images, guys, for one Spark credit or Speed credit, okay? All right, here's the images that... CF Spark generated for us. So you can see they're a lot more crisp. Okay, so keep in mind it is not duplicating. It is not duplicating. Okay, it is not duplicating. If you click on something and you like it, you just click on download and it's going to become a part of your private downloads. Now, the other thing is you can actually go in here. I'm going to click on here and delete that. You can now upload your own images. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to my desktop here and see what I find. So these are some of my images that I did in um, Mid Journey. <clears throat> Let's take this little cutie right here. Okay, there's the image. And we're going to click on generate and see what we get. And the sizing, guys, is based off of the sizing of the original image. So you can see the initial images that I did were, hold on one second. The initial images that I did were in the landscape position. And these are actually in the, I mean, in the, uh, yeah, landscape position. They're longer width-wise. And then these are in the portrait position and it's based off of the original image that I was using. So look at these cuties, guys. Okay. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is when you're in CF Spark, when you're in CF Spark, um, you remember when you would be going through 
looking at other people's work and they would have, so if I go to community feed, and let's just say I'm looking, going through and I see other people's work and I'm like, oh, she's pretty, but the prompt is hidden. There's that generate. All I have to do is lay my cursor over it and I can recreate something similar to that. It's not going to give me this image or the prompt that was used. So I'm going to click on generate and generate. There's the image. <clears throat> so again, you're going to get 12 images. These are just too cute. All right, there's our image. Isn't that amazing? Oh, she's beautiful. Ah, oh, Lord Jesus. I don't have to worry about finding a prompt now. I can find an image for motivation and go from here. I just got 11, I mean, um, 10 images out of bringing that image into CF Spark based on the extension. So first off, you want to make sure that you download the extension. And once you download that CF Spark extension, once you download the CF Spark extension, you can get it from the Chrome Web Store, CF Spark browser plugin. That's what it's called. Um, if you already have Creative Fabrica, you can check your email. They may have sent you um, an email like they did me. So that's how I got mine was by opening the email to get the plugin, but you can go to the, um, the Chrome web store to actually get it, to get that extension. That's the name of it. Okay. And yeah. And so now you don't have to worry about a prompt guys and CF, um, CF spark. So now when I go to my private downloads, Look at those images. Okay, so now it's not gonna give you any prompt, guys. It's not gonna give you the prompt because you brought this image in, you know, um, from CF Spark or Google or whatever. So this is not a way for you to take somebody's prompt and recreate your um, images. This is just so that you can have some type of motivation to help you generate images in CF Spark. OK, so now I've shown you how to use the extension um, by just going, you know, anywhere. Let's go to um, Pinterest. <clears throat> you know, Pinterest has all types of beautiful art. Here's Pinterest. And let's see if we can. Oh, that's like a video clip. There it is. So now I just took an image from Pinterest. I'm going to click on generate. And again, this one is in the landscape position. These are in the portrait. These are in the landscape and these are in the portrait. So your portrait is going to be longer lengthwise. Oh, so cute. Oh, she's hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. OK. So that is how you use it, guys. I've shown you how to use the extension by just adding the extension. Once you add the extension, wherever you are on the World Wide Web, all you have to do is lay your cursor over that image, get the little generate button and click on it. It's going to bring that image. It's going to upload that image into CF Spark for you. And all you have to do is click on generate. It's going to take one speed credit 
per 12 images, okay, which is not bad. Um, and then I showed you also how you can upload your own image. So you would just click delete here and then you would get that um, little camera and plus sign to click on upload. Once you click on that, you can find an image wherever you have it on your computer. And then I also showed you how you can go into Spark and click on Create Art. <clears throat> All right, not sure why it's taking so long. All right, there we go. And now you can go to the community feed or you can go to your personal. I mean, your personal feed is looking at your friends, work, people that are following you. So you can do personal feed. These are all the people that are following you and you follow. But again, if that prompt is hidden, all you have to do is just click on, hover over it and click on generate. And it's gonna generate images similar. Same thing with the community feed. Again, it is not going to give you the prompt. So this is not a way for you to go in and get other people's prompts. This is just a way for you to recreate um, images. Oh, I like that one. Um, recreate images similar to the ones that you see online okay all right guys I think this one is going to be a game changer um, like I said I like it hopefully you guys will like it and if you don't have um, CF Spark yet but you have Creative Fabrica then I would highly recommend you pay the extra nine dollars for CF Spark because now you don't even have to worry about entering a prompt you know, we would always have to enter a prompt to get images. So if you like one of these images that you bring in, but you're like, well, I kind of sort of like it, but I want to remix it. So all you have to do is click on this little icon here and say mix again. And then generate. And then it'll recreate images based off of the initial image that you brought into um or not the issue, initial image but the image that you just clicked on from an uploaded image that you brought from somewhere else okay so she's pretty like that one and that one she's cute all right, so if you have any questions, guys, chime in in the comments and let me know. I'll try to help you out as best I can. Um, but this is using the CF Spark prompt extension, okay? This is a prompt extension um, for Chrome. You have to have the extension. And then once you get the extension, it only takes a hot second for you to install that extension. Once you install that extension, you're good to go. Any image you see online, all you have to do is hover your mouse over it get that little generate and then you can recreate not recreate but create images similar to that one okay and this is all in creative fabrica and let's go uh let's do this all right so this is creative fabrica for those of you that are will be new to it and have never used it before sometimes my screen goes black guys hold on one second all right that is it guys so this is creative fabrica so if you're new to creative fabrica you've not seen it before all you would just do is type in creativefabrica.com and you can sign up for Creative Fabrica. If you wanna use Spark, which is what I was just showing you, you wanna make sure that you um, click on CF Spark and sign up for CF Spark, which is an additional $9 
um, per month, okay? Um, but there's a lot. I call Creative Fabric the one-stop shop because you have fonts, graphics. Of course, now you have the AI digital um, images. You have all types of crafting projects, needlework classes. This is the um, CF Premium. I've not used that yet, so I'm going to have to look into that. Um, but just about anything you can think of from an art perspective, you can come into Creative Fabrica and find it here. Okay, so no more having to go and search Google to see what you can find. No longer having to go to Etsy and pay per image for something that you like. Once you sign up for Creative Fabrica, then you get to you get access to all of this stuff for free. Okay, the only thing you have to pay for in addition to Creative Fabrica is CF Spark if you're interested in digital images. Okay, and I will link my affiliate code in the description of this tutorial, and you can use that to save you know, a little bit of money on a yearly membership for your CF Spark. Okay. All right, guys, if you're currently in my Facebook group, Ken Doris is Cricket and Creative Crafters, I want to thank you guys so much for following me via Facebook. If you would like to join my Facebook group, it is going to also be linked in the description of this video tutorial here on YouTube. And all you have to do is click that link and then agree to the Facebook group rules and we'll get you in, in my group. And then also, if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via YouTube. If you are seeing my video tutorial for the first time and you like my method of teaching, um, I have over 400 video tutorials on my um, YouTube channel that will help you with all types of crafting from sublimation to fabric transfers to DTF, so on and so forth. Okay. So if you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And that's it, guys. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. And you guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day.